So today we're going to go over watts. What are watts? Um, really, watts are just a unit of measurement used to describe power. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about with watts um, are the two big things that you're going to see when you're looking at power ratings for equipment you buy. Um, the first would be peak power. What's peak power? Well, peak power is also known like maybe as max power or uh, burst. Really, it doesn't play much of a role in what watts really are. When you're buying equipment, you're going to see on the box, you're going to see peak power, and it's not realistic rating. You're really getting fooled. It's kind of a false advertising when you only look at those numbers and buy that um, 500 watt amp. You know, it says on the front of the box, but really, if you go and look further, it's not going to put out 500 watts, at least not consistently. Mass power is the actual rating that you want to look at when you're buying equipment. That is what the amplifier can produce consistently the entire time and what the speaker or subwoofer can handle or take the entire time. It's the most realistic number you can look at when you're buying equipment because that's really what the equipment's going to do. Um, it's the only number that you really ever need to be concerned with because it's the only one that really means anything. It's the only suitable, good, lasting number that's going to tell you what your equipment can and can't do. And so, like what I always tell people, a thousand watts is a lot more than you think. This system right here is only a thousand watts going to it right now, and it's it's pretty impressive. A lot of people go out and buy those one thousand watt amps and, from Walmart, and they just don't, they're not loud. It's not really a thousand watts. A thousand watts is a lot more than you think. So, when it comes to buying equipment, RMF power is the only thing you need to be concerned with, because you're going to get you're not going to get what you think you're going to get if you're buying straight off the front of the box for $50 at Walmart. It's just not realistic. You're going to get 1,000 watts for that price. Um, so now we're going to continue on to um, how do you match wattage ratings. Um, when you're only looking at RMS watts, which is this is all we're going to do, um, you got to buy equipment that works with, it, with each other. Um, and so let's say you have a 500 watt RMS subwoofer, which is a pretty nice subwoofer. Um, you're going to want a 500 watt RMS amp, or an amp with a little bit more than 500 watts RMS. Um, and what we call that is headroom, where your amplifier is able to put out more than that speaker is supposed to handle, but the fact that it is able to put out more than that gives it this headroom where it doesn't have to work so hard to produce only that 500 watts. And don't worry, you can tune amp down so that it only puts out that 500 that the speaker requires. But the amp working really, it, it, it isn't really working that hard because it has this, what's called headroom. So when you're gonna match things, you, you pretty much get them close as possible. But if you're gonna go and get a little bit bigger, you gotta get a little bigger on the amp. And so uh, I also wanted to cover, some people think that subs put out power. No, it's not like that. <clears throat> you have an amplifier and you have a subwoofer, the amplifier puts out watts or power and your subwoofer handles power or takes power and converts it into sound energy or mechanical engineering energy. Um, and so the sub doesn't produce any power, it only produces sound and it takes power from your amplifier and which is basically, as the name says, amplifies the signal and so it puts out power. And so, um, last thing with watts is just be smart and go out and do your research. When you're going to buy equipment, don't be looking at those peak numbers. You're going to be looking at RMS. RMS is the only true value that you want to look at. Um, other than that, watts are simple. More better, but just make sure you're doing your research, going out, finding out, just like how I started. So I hope these videos help you guys. If you like them, um, hit that like button because uh, I'm going to probably do some more of these. Um, and check out the channel. I got a lot of videos on these, uh, a lot of builds, um, all kinds of things. So if you guys like that video, please uh, hit the like button. And uh, you got any questions, put them down there and uh, I'll be happy to answer anything you guys have. Um, other than that, just remember um, RMS is the only thing you need to look at. And uh, just do your research and uh, you'll, be, you'll be at a good start. So thanks guys for watching and see you next time.